Well, hello. It's me again, and I'm back with another tutorial. This is gonna how to be how to create a 3D book using After Effects. So, what you need to do is you need to have some you need to have some kind of a photograph of whatever popper you're gonna use for this, because we're gonna create we're gonna recreate the Blues Clues intro and make it look like it's not the Blues Clues intro, but something else. So we're going to um, we're gonna find the image that we want to use, like. We can either use something like this popper in here. Now we need to create a new solid. We can make it a yellow color like the Blue's Clues book. Just for fun. Sorry about that. I was uh, downloading something. Anyway. Wait, hang on a second. Anyway. Now, um, if this solid doesn't fit the comp, then you can either right click, transform, or... and go to fit to comp, or you can just resize it to fit into the comp. Now we drag our image in, and if the image is not transparent, then we can fix that. We can uh, go to Effect, co uh, Keying, Color Key. Now click on the white, hang on a sec, sorry about that. Anyway, now we're going to... We're gonna, now we're going to create a text. So go to new, we've got a layer, new, text. Now we can type in something, we can uh, type in the uh, name. Blues Clues, just for fun. Now make it sort of a, uh, sort of a lightish looking blue. Now we're going to go to effect. Uh, perspective and drop shadow. Now we're going to create a, darking, a darker looking blue like that. Change the opacity a little bit. Now give it some softness and change the distance so we can see it behind the text. Now scale the text down, but for some reason the text is, the text doesn't fit in the popping well. So what we need to do is we need to uh, go down here to the text. We need to go to the character options when we brought up our text. First, uh, double click on the text, and then click on, uh, select the, the clues text right here, drag this up, and there. And now scale it down just right to make it fit. Now we're going to go to layer, uh, pre-compose, move all attributes. We're going to call this cover. Oh, whoops. Now alt double click on the cover layer. Now select all of these. We're going to uh, drag them up to fit the comp because this is what we need to do. And uh, if, if the whole thing messes up then 
you can uh, fix it up once you scale everything to the top. Anyway, now we're going to go back into the comp one. Now we're going to click. Now we're going to. Now we're going to press A, Shift, then P. Uh, you have to press A f for one time, and then Shift P to also bring up the position. So now, drag, click and drag the top one, which is the anchor point, two parts, the anchor point and the position. Click on, click and drag the, the X position of the anchor point down this way, because see that, see this little center point here? We need to line it up right here on the edge and then change the position X the X position, change the X position like this now click on this box which has a 3D box now we're gonna now we're gonna scale this down a bit or wait a second wait a second let me, let me fix something it's better now we're gonna create a new solid we're gonna make it a green background go to transform right click and transform fits a comp now bring it below our cover now scale it and make the change the green size so you can make it fit with the fit with the cover like this Now, press. We'll select the cover. Press P. Then move the position this way. And now, as you can see, we need to click this box on the green layer. We need to drag it this way a bit so the green part can disappear behind the, the cover. Now, press. Select the cover and press R on the keyboard. Now go to frame. Now go to uh, right here where it says one second. Then click on the stopwatch for the Y rotation. Then drag it out this way. Now rotate it. Um, this video might be short because I didn't. I I didn't make this for uh for uh ten to twenty seconds at least. I didn't do that, so I apologize. But you can fix that if if uh you go to composition composition settings, then go to. Can, and then click on here and change this to 10 to 20 seconds but I'm gonna keep it for I'm gonna keep it for this now if I click on this button which is RAM preview then it will go through the video and play it and if you want the cover to have a a slow beginning and slow ending this is what you do you click on the rotation Y right here then press F9 on the keyboard and then it'll slowly open and then slowly stop like this So I hope this helped, and 
Terrier 16 if you're watching this, make sure you watch this tutorial very carefully because using After Effects can be quite tricky. I mean, for some of my other videos like Active Imagination and the Paddle Rangers video, those kind of got a lot to me. So make sure to watch this very carefully and memorize all this because I know I had to when I first started After Effects. Anyway, see you next time.